Welcome to HVAC exam practice test, our topic today is ductwork sizing, use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store and Google Play for free practice tests. 1. What is the primary function of an evaporator coil in a residential HVAC system? A. To generate heat for the home. B. To cool the air by absorbing heat. C. To filter out dust and debris from the air. D. To regulate humidity levels only. The correct answer is B. To cool the air by absorbing heat. Explanation The evaporator coil absorbs heat from the air, allowing the refrigerant to carry the heat away and cool the air before it is circulated throughout the home. 2. Which type of evaporator is installed beneath a furnace? A. Upflow evaporator. B. Downflow evaporator. C. Side flow evaporator. D. Split evaporator. The correct answer is B. Downflow evaporator. Explanation. Downflow evaporators are installed beneath downflow furnaces and help distribute conditioned air effectively. 3. Where are upflow evaporators typically installed? A. Beneath the furnace. B. On top of the furnace. C. Next to the condenser unit. D. Inside the outdoor compressor. The correct answer is B. On top of the furnace. Explanation Upflow evaporators are placed on top of the furnace, commonly in basement or closet installations. 4. Why might the fan motor need to be upgraded when adding an evaporator coil? A. To support additional heating functions. B. To increase airflow due to additional resistance. C. To reduce power consumption. D. To improve indoor air quality. The correct answer is B. To increase airflow due to additional resistance. Explanation Adding an evaporator coil increases airflow resistance, requiring a stronger fan motor to maintain the necessary cubic feet per minute CFM, rate. 5. What is the purpose of sealed bearings in some blower motors? A. To prevent overheating. B. To eliminate the need for lubrication. C. To improve air circulation. D. To increase energy efficiency. The correct answer is B. To eliminate the need for lubrication. Explanation. Sealed bearings do not require periodic lubrication, making maintenance easier and ensuring smoother operation. 6. What component must be connected to the evaporator to make the cooling system function? A. Heat exchanger. B. Compressor and condenser. C. Return air duct. D. Humidifier. The correct answer is B. Compressor and condenser. Explanation The evaporator coil alone cannot cool the air, it must be connected to a compressor and condenser to complete the refrigeration cycle. 7. Why does a condensing unit typically have a U shaped condenser coil? A. To reduce noise. B. To increase heat transfer efficiency. C to allow for easier installation. D. To lower refrigerant pressure. The correct answer is B. To increase heat transfer efficiency. Explanation 
the U-shaped condenser coil provides more surface area for heat exchange, improving the system's cooling efficiency. 8. How do high and low pressure switches protect the compressor? A. By shutting it off if pressures are too high or too low. B. By regulating fan speed. C. By preventing electrical surges. D. By reducing refrigerant charge automatically. The correct answer is, A. By shutting it off if pressures are too high or too low. Explanation. High and low pressure switches prevent damage by shutting down the system if pressure levels exceed safe operating limits. 9. What is the key advantage of Lennox's Refrigerant Flow Control RFC, system? A. It allows refrigerant charge adjustments by technicians. B. It equalizes pressure instantly after the compressor stops. C. It can be easily modified during installation. D. It eliminates the need for a condenser unit. The correct answer is, B. It equalizes pressure instantly after the compressor stops. Explanation The RFC system maintains optimal refrigerant flow and eliminates the need for extra pressure equalization controls. 10. Why is an optional, no-load, band thermostat beneficial in rooftop HVAC units? A. It reduces energy consumption by allowing temperature fluctuations. B. It increases cooling efficiency by running the system continuously. C. It eliminates the need for a thermostat. D. It prevents the compressor from overheating. The correct answer is, A, it reduces energy consumption by allowing temperature fluctuations. Explanation, that no-load band thermostat allows the system to coast between normal control points, reducing unnecessary energy usage. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.